How is it going, guys? And welcome back to the channel, and a happy new year to each and every one of you. Uh, right, today I thought I would do a sort of my plans for 2024 regarding the car and the channel. Um, I do apologise, I've, I've not been doing any uploads recently because I've been down with I've had the, I've had the flu over New Year and uh, then I had a sinus infection. It, oh, it's it's just been awful, guys. <laughs> I'm still not 100 percent now, but you know we we plod on, don't we? We keep on moving. So I thought I'd do a little video for you to today because it's sort of video I'll get, off, I'll get asked quite a lot um you know what's the plans for the car what's this that and the other what you're going to do to it so i thought you know what i'll, do, I'll sort of address it all in one video uh so the car basically um obviously there's been no change since the last video that like i did or something on it last so the last modification i did was the was the uh, the lights um i need to get um a new intake system because uh, it has one of those k&m ones and from what i've been told they're absolutely rubbish so it's something that i need to get changed when to get an rs style one i do have an ecu holder which a subscriber gave to me which i'm really appreciative for thank you mate um, so that's that won't be a problem um exhaust wise i i mean i still I, to this day i still don't know what exhaust it has um it, i've been told it's a mongoose I, it's but I, I had a mongoose on my pr first focus st and that was really loud it sounded really nice whereas this one it, it just seems quiet still i mean even with the decat on when i fit the decat i mean <laughs> i don't know if you guys know this but when i did the before and after when i fit the decat it sounded the same <laughs> even though it's it, it is louder in all fairness it is a slightly louder but it it just it doesn't it's just not loud it doesn't it, it, you can hear the exhaust obviously but it just doesn't sound like a focus st like a typical focus st should so i need to sort out getting a proper exhaust for it um body styling wise i do want to get a front splitter i'm not going to get vents because they can cause all sorts of problems so i do want to get a front splitter for it maybe some maybe a set of those side skirts extension things um a little lip spoiler for the spoiler, a little lip spoiler for the spoiler, <laughs> you know, the little lip spoiler that goes on there. Um, I'm not going to get an RS spoiler, you know, it's, you can kill me in the comments if you want. Um, it's, I don't like them. I mean, you can only sort of get away with it on a, on a, even like an RS rep or something that's like, you know, a really like angry looking car, um, you know, it's, and it's running a lot of power. But for me, I just don't think oh, the RS spoiler suits like a stock car i just think it looks stupid in my opinion i mean that's just my opinion you know each to their own and all that i'm not slagging them off it's, it's just something i don't like um body what body wise um i mean I, like I, think I said before i do want to get the car wrapped but at the same time um do i spend the extra money and just get the car painted i know it's i'm looking at about three and a half four grand for a, a paint shop I'd, if i can find a paint shop who will touch the car because no paint shops like all paint shops hate this color they don't know they don't like painting it which is why you see people wrapping them or they're all different shades of color like mine is um but again if i wrap it because of the lack appeal um i'm gonna i imagine i'm gonna have to sand down the entire car because obviously when you lay the wrap on you put it on and pull it up pull it on like you know just to get it how you want it but my worry there is is it going to lift the lacquer off it when I'm pulling it off? So then I've wasted the wrap then and I'm stuffed, aren't I? So it's, it'd be a can, I'd, have, I'd have to flat the entire car before wrapping it, which is it's opening a can of worms, isn't it, really? Um, Stance-wise, I, I don't think it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really need lowering anymore. I do like the wheels, even though they do need a refurb. That's, so that's something. Um, I need to get the headlights changed because, um, if you guys can really see this, so. So something's happened there. I don't know what it is, but it's happened. But it's happened anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I do want to get a set of, new set of headlights for it if I can find some. Um, engine wise, I do want to get the car forward because I, I do want to start trying pushing some power through this engine. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll get I'll get to around 300 brake as it is, and then I'll have to put, I'll have to get it forged then. But again, that's going to be in time if I if I keep, if I still keep the car, which I can't see why I won't because it's been brilliant. I've had absolutely no problems with it, even though I barely used it over the Christmas period, which you can probably sort of tell it's barely dirty. Um, so that's pretty much really my plans for the car so far that I can think of. As for the channel, I do want to get some uh, some some cars on the channel, um, some features uh, of, of you guys, of your guys' cars. Um, I have had a few messages of people asking to come on the channel. However, I had this last year and um, it, people said, yeah, I'm going to come on the channel and it, it, it just went all quiet and they just start ghosting me so if it's something you guys are really interested in you got an, you know an interesting car you want to bring on the channel um i'm based in in, in south birmingham in redditch so it's sort of in the middle um i'll put my instagram somewhere here if you guys want to drop me a dm 
or just follow me. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to. Um, one thing I won't be able to do anymore is doing draggy times. Uh, I didn't say, I didn't tell you this when I sold the Civic, but when I, um, it was another reason why I sold it. Um, my, my, my car, the Civic, is broken into, unfortunately, and uh, my draggy was taken, my code reader was taken, and a few other bits and pieces were taken out of the car as well. So that was sort of another reason I got rid of the car because I don't know if you, anything like me, but some of the rummaging around in the car and they didn't want it anymore. So that was sort of the end. Of, you know, that was the end for that, really. Even though I wasn't really happy with that car from the start, so I'm kind of hoping this year's gonna be a better year. Last year was sort of a bit of a clusterfuck, really. I think you guys probably agree. A bit of an ups and downs with it, um, and I couldn't make my mind up what car I wanted. Obviously, I had, the, you know, had all the issues with the Astra. Got, got rid of that. Got the Civic. Didn't like that. So now I've got that, and it's, it's in all fairness, it's been a brilliant car. Um, I just need to get someone together to start throwing money in it because if you guys know it's I've not really spent much money on the car since I've had it I mean in all fairness I've only had to fix it really um, but uh, due to the trade I'm in uh, work has been quiet so earning extras and bonuses and stuff it's it's all gone out the window so I'm kind of hoping this year is going to be better uh, so I can start throwing some money at the car again um, and I do want to get some people's cars on the channel again so just, you know take them out for a ride so, you know sh sh showcase your car so to speak um, I'm doing all the shows. I do, I do want to start going to the Ford shows as well. Obviously, oh no, the Ford shows from you Vauxhall guys. <laughs> but no, I do want to start having a look at them, see what the people are, see people are like around in in the Ford people. Um, I, but I, but I will still be coming to the Vauxhall shows. Um, James and um, Ash both have VXR, so I still come to them because I, you know, in, I feel I've made a good, good group of mates in the VXR scene. I do still want to keep in touch with everybody, and I still enjoy. I just do still enjoy the shows. It's always a good day. So I'm going to try and do as many of them as I can. Um, I do want to try and set up a little, my own little meet uh, at some point this year. If it's some, something that you guys would be interested in, maybe something like a caffeine and machine or something like that, if it's something you guys would be interested in coming along if I, if I arranged it in the summer. Obviously, it's too cold now, but uh, in the summer to warm up, you know, let, let me know in the comments if it's something you'd be interested in as well. Also, let me, in the, let me know in the comments, what, what would you like me to do this year? Um, what would you to, like to see from the channel? Is it something? Is there something particular you'd like me to do? Like something particular you'd like me to sit? Like, like to like me like to see me see me do? Um, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm I'm open to all ideas. I've got a few ideas rattling around up there, but we'll see. Like I said, I want I just want to get the car running up to up to some decent power. Um, I, I do want to take it to Chris at Wayside Performance, um, but failing that as well, I've also been looking at the uh, Dream Science Strategy units, although they're called I Maps now, I think. Um, and they come with loads of different maps loaded on. I know they're more of a generic generic map, but they're not massively expensive. And it'd be, I think it'd be pretty cool to uh, get it, like buy one and then take it down to Chris at Wayside and then put it on his dyno and then go through each different map because obviously they've got claim figures. And so if we could put it on the dyno, load each map on and see what sort of what, what actual figures you get, I thought that I thought that'd be something quite interesting for you guys just to see if if the power figures that Dream Science say are, are, are correct. But we'll see. I don't know. I know um, years ago um, I had a lot. Of, I had a lot of dealings with Dream Science. Um, there's a guy there called Jared. I think his name is Jared. Um, I don't think he. I'm, I'm not sure if he's still there or not. Um, he was an absolutely sound guy, and I, I ran over over 300 brake with one of their old stratagem units, and, it, and I had it dynoed. Uh, I think it was like three or four different places, and it always ran over 300 brake. So back then their figures were pretty accurate. So I can't see a lot's changed. So yeah, guys, um, sorry to waffle on, you know, I, I do want to try and do better this year on YouTube, trying to be, put a bit more effort in for you, and um, try and get some more entertainment in for you as well, but we'll see. Um, so as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you drop that like button. Again, I apologise, I've not been very well, and uh, I'm a bit croaky. So, um, and sub subscribe if you're new, guys. If you're new to the channel, you know, you don't have to own the Ford, don't have to own the VX, I don't have to own anything. It's, you know, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you hit the like button as well. You, you, the like button's one thing, one thing that really helps the channel out. So make sure you smash that as well. And I'll see you on the next one.